morning, everyone. This is Elaine at Annabella's. Welcome back to Floss Tube number 46. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I did do my Christmas whip parade yesterday. So if you'd like to see what I'm working on and what some of my plans are for 2022, as far as my Christmas stitching goes, you can go back and watch that. If you are a new subscriber, thank you for joining. Um, this channel is primarily about cross stitch and quilting and paper crafting with just a little bit of my life thrown in. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back each week, spending your mornings with me. I hope that um, you will continue to share my channel with your friends um, and I'm very appreciative of you. So I've got lots to share today. Um, so grab a cup of coffee, maybe um, a notepad in case you see something that you might wanna jot down um, and come back to later, um, or just stitch along as I share some new starts. I have three new starts this week. Um, I'll also share some haul uh, that Elaine brought and then some haul from the store. So um, I guess we will just get started. So let's see, last week um, I got to see Elijah, so we had a great time. We went to the park and uh, they came over for dinner and he is just all of three right now. So we really had um, a really great time with him. Um, he's an absolute joy. And um, yesterday I went over to the girl's house and got to spend a little bit of time with Kobe. Um, he's, you know, getting big every single day and, um, you know, is coming out of that infant days, that newborn days. He's more alert and um, he's starting to smile and he is just precious. And then I got home and I was catching up on social media and lo and behold, my beautiful grandson Colton rolled over for the first time. So um, just a great, great week, um, you know, in the lives of my grandchildren. And uh, Terry's back from North Carolina. He went up, as I said, to check on um, our house and get it ready for winter. Um, but, you know, we're still having a, a tough time with little baby Emma. Um, I have a picture to show you of her. Um, this is Emily Ann. Uh, this was taken a few years ago before she, you know, lost her, lost her vision and lost her hearing. But, um, you know, we'll see how she does. Um, last night was a, you know, a good night. She slept, uh, but today she won't eat. So, you know, every day is a bit of a challenge with baby Emma. So keep her in your thoughts. She's our little precious one. Anyway, okay, so that's really it. Didn't really do much. Um, like I said last week, I started my Christmas decorations. Uh, Terry's home and he's kind of pushing back on taking me to our storage unit to get some things out of storage. Um, so I'm gonna kind of hound him this weekend because I can't finish if I don't get the rest of the stuff out. Uh, but he's kind of in a bah humbug mode right now. So I don't know what's gonna happen this weekend. Um, I can decorate the living room with things. I'm just not gonna be, it's gonna look haphazard. So until I get into that storage room and figure out what he may not have thrown out, um, you know, we're kind of at a standstill. So anyway, um, let me see, let me have a sip of tea here. Mm, let me show you some new starts um, that I started this week. As you know, my goal was to finish two and start two each week. The finishing two isn't happening as quickly as I'd like, but the starting, I have no problem starting. It's just, you know, with as many whips as I have in progress right now, it's kind of hard to get things finished, but I'm working on them. Um, this isn't a start, but I mentioned it yesterday um, on my whip parade, so I wanted to just show you, it to you again. This is up on the housetop. It is in my queue to start this week. And I went ahead and got the fabric that I'm gonna be stitching on, which is a uh, 14 count um, Nordic blue. This is the fabric. Um, yesterday on my whip parade, I told you folks that I was gonna go ahead and cut this uh, to fit, um, you know, based on the stitch count and make it available to you. So I've done that. Um, it'll be in the shop this afternoon. Um, it's the, the sizes I have, I have two pieces, 18 by 14 and a half, and then I have three pieces that are 18 by 18. So if you want them, that's all I have, and I'm probably not gonna be ordering any more. So just stay tuned later this afternoon, and I will list those, and you can go ahead and grab it if you're interested. So there's that. 
Then um, one of my starts, it's a, it's a new start, even though I've shown it before. I finished gathering snowflakes and have already gifted it and sent it on its way. Um, and I did the first one in uh, Blue Corn by Classic Color Works. Then I decided that I loved it so much, I was gonna do it again for myself. And um, I am stitching it on the 14 count uh, iridescent white which as you know, um, is my go-to fabric for Christmas this year. You're seeing the blue tape behind it. Um, but what I've done is I've decided to stitch this in Deep Blue Sea by Classic Color Works, and I just absolutely love it. The variegation is beautiful, pretty light blue uh, variegating into dark blue. I don't know if I have this in stock. I will be adding Deep Blue Sea to our inventory this week, so if you don't see it there right now, uh, stay tuned uh, later today, and I will be sure to add it. So there you go. So I'm really enjoying this. It's an adorable, adorable stitch. Um, I love it. So I'm hoping that this will be a finish for this week. Um, and then I'm keeping it. I'm not giving this away. This is for me. <laughs> okay, then um, I fell in love with this pattern when it first came out. This is Kind and Gentle uh, by Artful Offerings. Um, just love it. Um, I'm not sure when we're going to get this back in stock. I placed another order today. Um, I'll, I'll know this, you know, within the next few hours, whether Hoffman's is going to ship it. That's who I ordered it from. Um, and I do believe that they're going to have it at some point, you know, if not today, sometime this coming week. So I will have this in stock and I am stitching it on the 14 count iridescent again. And this is how much I've done. I've just started his face. Um, so I haven't got much done, but I'm on my way and my living room, as I mentioned, is in turquoises and golds and whites. So when this is done, it'll be turned into a pillow and I will proudly display my perfectly imperfect, um, finished object on my couch. So we have that. <clears throat> then I have a little frog in my throat today. Sorry about that. Um, then I started Comfort and Joy. Misty's getting a lot of shout outs today. I just love her designs. Comfort and Joy by Misty over at Luminous Fiber Arts. I'm stitching this on <clears throat> a 14 count platinum. And uh, this is it right here. So I was able to um, start the flower up at the top and it's coming along nicely. And then I'll um, kind of scoot down, maybe finish the bird and get down here and start the gold, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, but just a great design. I'm gonna turn it into a pillow just like that when it's finished. Um, and don't know if I'm gonna gift it or keep it. You know, we'll see how that goes. So those are my three starts uh, for the week. Um, and <clears throat> I'm making good progress on everything else, but I won't bore you with the details. You can watch the whip parade and catch up on, on the details of all my many Christmas whips and what my plans are for 2022 as far as staying on top of them and actually having some finishes uh, by June, which is a six month mark, before I start adding to my stash uh, for the things I wanna stitch for Christmas in December of 2022. So it's kind of fun. Um, then what I did is um, I did some scrapbooking and, and finished an album that I'll share with you now because as you know, Annabella's is both a cross stitch quilting and paper crafting shop. And although we haven't been very strong in the paper crafting um, arena, that is something that we are rapidly expanding as we approach 2022 and then moving forward. So this is an example of uh, some of the work that I do, and I've done this for years. Um, I've created this beautiful album. Um, this will be filled with uh, fall photos of my family and all of the things that I love about fall. So it is, um, you know, pretty thick. It's about maybe two, two and a half inches. Um, but I use a lot of mixed media. So I use a lot of flowers, some acorns, the pretty wreath here. These are Prima flowers, um, you know, a lot of hot gluing. <laughs> and of course, lots of pretty ribbons. So the inside, which you're not gonna be able to see real well, uh, you know, there's all kinds of tags and things in here um, that I will be adhering my photos to of my family. Um, this is a drop down. So as you can see, there's some pretty, there's lots of room to put some nice size photos. 
um, just love this paper. I believe this paper was by Minte, uh, which we will be carrying in the shop. So you'll be able to check back. Um, you might be familiar with Minte um, because of their stickers, uh, but we will also and, and have um, carried all of their scrapbook papers and uh, you know things of that sort. So just lots of you know little places to pull out um, and check out what's behind um, you know the photo, which gives me an opportunity to do some journaling um, and jot down you know what the photo is about and who's in it. Um, because, you know, a photo without a description is kind of hard for people to recall, um, you know, if they weren't there at that uh, event. So this is my little book. Just wanted to share it with you real quick. Um, so you get some idea of um, some of the paper crafting that I enjoy doing. Um, and I know that many of my followers enjoy. So you'll be seeing more paper crafting, probably, uh, you know, board books here and again, um, but also scrapbook pages and uh, card making and rubber stamping. So those are kind of, you know, the things that um, I love to do. And I like sprinkling it in, uh, in between cross stitching and, and quilting because, Paper crafting seems to give me a quick fix as far as um, satisfaction that I've got something that I can start and finish within a couple of hours. So I think that's why I love doing it so much. Um, and it's also something that I can very, very quickly give away. So whether it's a greeting card or a scrapbook page, you know, or a small album, um, it brings me great joy to be able to create something and then gift it out to others. So I'm excited about that. I also uh, want to share with you um, this company that I had mentioned a couple of floss tubes ago. I forgot to bring my book of days today, so um, I don't want to wait any longer to give a shout out to this company. Um, it's an Etsy shop called Pancake Bunny, and the link is below. And these are some of the stickers that I just purchased from her. And as you know, I love pink and I love vintage um, designs. So aren't these precious? Look at the little vintage Santas and the gingerbread and the nutcracker. So this, um, this is gonna go in my book of days for uh, December, which you'll see. And she just packages everything so pretty. So here's the little thing that it came in, the little card, and these slipped right down. And then she's got a couple pullouts right here. Um, so her store again is called Pancake Bunny. And I hope that you will check out her Etsy shop because she has some absolutely beautiful stickers. And if you're looking uh, for another source, um, you know, it's worth, it's worth taking a peek. So there you go. Those are some of the stickers I got in. And then um, that's all I bought. I didn't, I really didn't shop for Elaine much this week. Um, my daughter yells at me whenever I take something out of the store because I forget to check off the inventory and we end up overselling. Um, so I've been chastised and, and I'm staying away right now. I'm good. We'll just, we'll just stitch what we have and, and wait till after the holidays before I start pulling things again. So, all right. Why don't we jump right in and let me show you some wonderful new items that have come in this week. Very excited. I've got quite a stack to go through. So if you want to, you know, take a deep breath and maybe run to get another cup of coffee, um, we'll get started on the, um, the store haul. Lots of fun things to see. Okay, let's get started. First is uh, Primrose Cottage Stitches. So Lindsay has come up with uh, five new designs and she has released um, something called Lindsay's Stamp Series. So there are three little stamps uh, type, she's calling them stamps, but they're smalls that you can stitch up very quickly. And the first three are Jingle All The Way. Isn't that just adorable? Look at how quick and easy that is. So we have Jingle All The Way. This one is my favorite, Let It Snow little snowman and these snow palms we have in the shop and if we don't we'll get more quick and easy joy to the world again finished with some of the snow palms then um, these these are also new releases they're not part of the um, stamp series but here are two new releases by Lindsay over at Primrose Cottage Stitches this is Jolly Happy Soul isn't that cute? I love him. He's so cute. I love the birdhouse hanging off his arm and the presents. Very sweet. 
And then we have um, Christmas wishes, gingerbread kisses and Christmas wishes. Adorable. I've seen this basket somewhere. I don't know, maybe Hobby Lobby, something very similar. I have it in my, um, my craft room. So there you go. So those are the five new releases. They're all in the shop. So there you go. If you'd like to take a peek, you can find them there. And then um, With Thy Needle and Thread has just come out with Redbird Sampler. It's a beautiful, beautiful design. So we have Redbird Sampler. Then um, this is back in the shop. This was something that we carried last year and we're recarrying it this year. Um, it's Snow Cold by Little House Needleworks. Just a really cute stitch with a little snowman and the little uh, cardinal. So that is It's Snow Cold. And then Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, this is new to the shop. It's not a new design per se for her. Um, but I saw it and I thought some of you would like it, so I brought it into the shop. It's, and it's not Christmas or holiday related, it's just a really pretty design. It's called Morning Song. And I thought in the dead of winter, wouldn't this be nice to stitch up and just having sitting in your kitchen? It'd like really brighten up a gloomy day. So I thought, wow, that's kind of cute. Let me, let me get that for my people. <laughs> so there you go. Um, another very popular design uh, that we've restocked for you is called Give Greatly by Silver Creek Samplers. It says your greatness is not in what you have, but in what you give. I want to stitch this so bad, but I've made a promise to myself that I'm not adding anything to my stash. But if you watched um, my whip parade, then you know what my plans are for 2022. And I'm going to be kicking off my winter stitching uh, at, at the beginning of December. So I'll be done with Christmas and I'm going to kick off um, starting my winter stitching. And this might be a winter stitch uh, rather than a Christmas stitch so I can get it under my needle. But I just love it. Give greatly. I've had my eye on this for a couple years. All right. Then Waxing Moon Designs, um, we're carrying this again from last year. This is called Merry Musings. Life is short, drink the eggnog, eat the cookies, and I just wanna stitch and watch Christmas movies. Who can relate? <laughs> so sweet. So this is Merry Musings. Love that. I can't take this out of the sleeve. Um, this is Christmas Samplers 2 by the Prairie Schooler. It is absolutely gorgeous. So excuse the glare, I'll try to tilt it so you can see these. They are just beautiful. Lots of golds and reds, hunter greens, berries, gorgeous. So there's a Christmas Samplers and then there's a Christmas Samplers 2. Then this is just too cute. This is by Twin Creek Primitives. Uh, marshmallow party. Look at those snowmen having a marshmallow party. How much fun. <laughs> They're so cute. And I love the finish. Looks pretty easy. You know, just a couple pieces of fabric and some trim. There you go. And that's a limited edition, just so you know. So I don't know how long she's going to turn these out. Um, but you might want to, you know, jot that down if it's something that you like, because it is a limited edition. And that's marshmallow party. And then Jordan over at Little Stitch Girl came out with just an adorable uh, three chart uh, design in this booklet. It's called Snow Tricks. So there are, look at those snowmen. This is what they're doing when no one's watching evidently. So they're just really sweet. And they finish up at about five and a half by five and a half. So not bad. Um, and that's based on a 28 count uh, stitch. But there you go. Snow Tricks. Then we've got two new releases by October House Fiber Arts. One is uh, Make a Joyful Noise. Very pretty. Love those fall colors. And as a dog lover, as you all know, um, I love this one. This says all dogs are precious. And how true is that? So this would be great to, you know, think about giving to a friend who might be a dog lover or stitch it up for yourself. But that is very sweet. All dogs are precious. 
And then Heartstring Samplers has come out with two new designs I'm gonna share with you. Mar this is Beth Twist, um, and she has designed Merry Birds. I think I showed this before and we've been out of it for a long time. I believe it came out at the last expo, but I'm not sure. But either way, if you haven't seen it, here you go. Merry Birds. And then this one, my wish for you, may all your dreams come true. Just beautiful. Great gift. Oop, I have another Twin Peak here that I missed. Um, this one's really cute. This is called Skating on the Pond. I used to go skating on the pond when um, we moved, when we lived in Buffalo and uh, after my mom died, the people that lived next door to my grandmother um, used to take um, a hose. I don't know how they did it, but they turned their entire backyard, the grass and everything into a skating rink. So my cousin, my sister and my cousin, Peter and John and I uh, would go ice skating, you know, after school right there in, you know, the yard next door. And it was a lot of fun. Um, so just great memories of skating and to be able to do it, you know, right at your house, that was really nice. And I'm sure my parent, my father was pleased because he didn't have to worry about Elaine falling through the ice, which is probably something I would be doing if I had the opportunity because I wasn't the, the most athletic or clever, um, little girl. So <laughs> anyway, okay. Next one is a uh, Shakespeare's peddler. I can't take this out of the sleeve. It's called O. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I love these colors. It's so pretty. And it says, oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. So there you go. That's by Shakespeare's Peddler. Then Frog Cottage Designs. Um, this is back in stock. We've been out for a while, but it is a very simple and very pop popular um, sentiment. It simply says, Merry Christmas. So that is just lovely. And then last, but certainly not least, I wanted to just give a shout out to the Blackbird Designs Home for the Holidays um, booklet, because a lot of us, you know, sometimes forget about things that we've seen or that are available. Um, so this book is absolutely filled with um, all kinds of gorgeous um, designs. Um, let me see how many are in here. Oh, I can show you some of them. So there's this one here. Then we have this one, Christmas Garden. And then we have Blessings Be Thine. Why don't I have, I think, I think I might have this in my stash. Michelle will kill me, but I think I, I, I might have this in my stash. I'll have to look before I, I grab it. This might actually, I may actually incorporate quite a few of these into next year's plan. My Heart is Home, this is stocking number two. Stocking number three, Gift Basket. Just a great book. Stocking number four, Holly and Ivy. Stocking number five, Decorating the Tree. And then they do have finishing instructions on how to finish the stocking, so how cool is that? They make it very easy for you and how to customize them too. This is called In the Meadow, or I'm sorry, The Meadow. And it includes an alphabet so that you can personalize it. This one is absolutely, I don't know, this is something I'm definitely gonna be stitching. It's called Tis the Season. Look at that. Not pretty. You know, I think Annie at the Proper Stitcher might have shown this at some point because I, I recall seeing it. I'm pretty sure that she did. 
There you go. So tis the season, just beautiful. And that's it. There's the back of it. That's what tis the season with the bird looks like. So um, lots of classic projects in here. Um, and we do have some of these uh, left. So if you're interested, you can take a peek at that. So that's it. That's all the store haul that we got this week, which is plenty. Um, we'll see what comes in over the next coming weeks. And then, believe it or not, we're looking ahead to March and the, um, the needlework um, event in um, Nashville, the Nashville Needlework um, show. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going. I can't remember the exact, it's not an expo. It's uh, just the needlework exhibition. Uh, there you go. It's the March needlework exhibition in Nashville. So I will be there shopping um, till I drop <laughs> for the shop. So that'll be fun. Um, all right. So let's talk a little bit about some happy mail. So last week, um, the question was, when do you start decorating for Christmas? So it's fun to go back and read the comments, uh, if you haven't already, uh, when everybody actually starts decorating for Christmas. So my YouTube uh, random comment picker selected four people that will be receiving some happy mail. Uh, all you have to do is make sure to um, send me your email address, uh, your home address, uh, or your shipping address to info at annabellas.net and I will get some happy mail right out to you. So last week's winners are Fifth Daughter, Lindsay Z, April Jackson, and Alice Marsh. So congratulations, ladies. Please be sure to email me within the next seven days in order to receive your happy mail. And I thought that this week's question could be, what is the number one floss that if you couldn't stitch with anything else, you would stitch with? So is it DMC? Is it Classic Color Works? Is it Weeks Dye Works? Or is it another brand? Please share with me and let me know. But you can only pick one, so let me know. Um, and then I will pick some more Happy Meal winners next week. Um, and just be sure that in order to participate, you have subscribed to the channel, you have commented on the video, that you're over 18 so I can ask for your address, and that you don't use the word free or giveaway or anything of that sort. Um, just the word happy mail is fine. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, we're trying to hit the next milestone here on our YouTube channel. So steer, share us with your stitchy friends and um, with your quilting and crafting friends. That would be really great. Be sure to follow us on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. And we are just um, very, very thankful, um, you know, when you choose to follow what we're doing and stay in touch with us here at Annabella's. So I hope all of you have a wonderful week and you get to spend lots of time doing the things you love with the people that you love the most. And I look forward to seeing you next Friday morning. Have a great week. Bye.